Karen and I are out near Lake Wales and we are looking for whooping cranes today. And on the way out, we've found some turkeys who no doubt are wondering why I'm filming this. And they are at a great distance away. I think they're kind of wondering what we're doing because turkeys, they don't get a lot of play, you know. But we're looking for whooping cranes today. Whooping cranes, W H O O P I N G. Whooping cranes are the tallest bird in North America. They have about a seven foot wingspan, and if you know the California condor, it's 10 feet, but they're a big bird. And the interesting thing about whooping cranes is they are the rarest bird in North America, according to some of the research that Karen has done. Right, Karen? Yes. And so what we're going to do is kind of wait at a spot that I've got a hunch that they're going to appear. Rackles, there are a number of things here already that would make this a good site. I've seen them here once before a few years ago around this time of year. So let's see if the hunch is correct. In the meanwhile, now we get to set up and kind of wait. As we're waiting, we see a, a harrier. Um, getting chased by some grackles. It sounds like there were some killdeer in the mix. So maybe the harrier found the killdeer's nest. I don't know, but something's going on. You can see the action there. Mm. Yeah, he's on the ground, so maybe he's, he's he may have gotten an egg. Grabbed a bird. Boy, I need a better camera. This is exciting stuff. And he's flying off. So Karen and I are sitting next to a low area. Um, it's a wetland type of area. It's a it's a small pond with some vegetation around it. And when I saw them last, uh, probably three years ago. They were in the same location. We have found hooping cranes way off in the distance. That big white bird is a hooping crane and we're hoping they get closer. I'm really happy that, uh, I'm really happy that we actually see them, but I'm hoping they get closer to this, to this hole. That's where they hopefully will do some hunting. Wow, this is exciting. They're fairly predictable. These two are probably the same two that I saw since they pair for a lifetime. Uh, and they die in the wild somewhere around 27 years. I've seen between 25 and 30 years of age. They like reptiles, amphibians, insects. They're big birds. And uh, they do a lot of hunting around these wet areas. One thing that's kind of neat about whooping cranes is that at night when they roost, they don't go in trees, they stand in the middle of water, which is kind of a neat way to defend yourself when you're sleeping. I suppose it's kind of like a fort with a moat around it. Anyway, we're waiting for these birds to get a little closer. I've already taken some photographs, but even with my 500 millimeter lens, it's not gonna be great. We're gonna hang out a little longer. We're close to Lake Wales. I think there's about 700 total population in this country, maybe up to a thousand now. And these are the same birds that uh, they used to use ultralight aircraft to reteach the juvenile birds that were hatched in Canada um, to teach them how to migrate down south to, I believe, Louisiana and Texas. Florida has its own population that stays here year round, but it's very small, maybe 70, 75 birds. So this is a, a pretty good day, even though it's raining. Uh, I'm, I'm happy we took the drive uh, from Orlando. And we wait and hope that the hooping cranes fly in a little closer. It looks like they disappeared. It's like a ridge line off in the distance, so we'll see if they come back. So uh, we decided to hit the uh, Lake Wales family restaurant after seeing our 
pooping cranes, you know, kind of like a reward for seeing them. Did you have a good time? It was amazing seeing that bird. First time for Karen. Yes. And uh, check it off my list. Check, check it off her list. So anyway, probably a quick ending to a quick day. Bye. Uh, I'll take the fresh garden omelet. Okay. Mm -hmm. What was the third one? Um,